Hello everybody, welcome back to the 1.19 Minecraft Let's Play series. If you haven't already, give us a subscribe. I promise you won't regret it, we do lots of fun, chill, Minecrafty things on this channel. Like in this Let's Play series. If you don't remember, because it has been a little bit of a minute, uh, we built Town Hall in the last episode, which is going to contain all of our villages. So it's basically a villager trading hall. Down there is the villager breeder, and we put one villager here. He is a cleric because we have a zombie spawner just over that way. And if you can see, He's a diamond level now, so he's a master and he trades all of this good stuff and I have already taken advantage of some of it, including ender pearls, which we are going to need for today. To be honest, I have not been feeling the best creatively. I've sort of, I guess, hit a bit of a wall and I've been struggling to come up with ideas. I mean, I know that there's the general progression of the world. You know, you play, you fight the Ender Dragon, you go end raiding and all of that sort of stuff. But I, didn't, I don't want to jump into it yet. I don't feel like I'm quite ready, but I'm also just struggling with things that we need to do. I know I need to do some odd jobs in cleaning up and stuff, but I don't know. I just haven't had the motivation or the energy, and I hope that's okay. It just gets like that sometimes, you know, you just need to put things down for a little bit that doesn't mean that i have lost any love for the series or the game it just means i guess that i was feeling a little burnt out i was basically working my full-time job and trying to record a video every week and then do little shorts and tiktoks as well and keep up with friends and other hobbies and things and it just got a little bit overwhelming so I've just needed a little bit of a break, but I'm back and I'm ready to go, even if I don't know what exactly we are going to do today. But I do want to fill out at least this room. I want to get a couple of more clerics, and I was thinking over here maybe we could do farmers, and I did also want to get mending going as well, so I was thinking librarians could go here. And then I kind of want to take advantage of our ender pearls and find the stronghold which I am a little bit worried about. Oh, before I sleep though, I wanted to check something because last episode, I think I mentioned I had created these lamp posts and I was a bit worried about the lighting situation because the light block is so high up and I had placed some of these in the ground and covered them up with the carpet like over there you can see. But someone mentioned punching out this block in here and putting frog lights in and that should work, which I think it actually is. It does look like it's casting a glow, not as bright as it would be obviously on the ground, but I think this is bright enough. I think this is gonna work. So I th think off camera, I'm going to go through and place a bunch more of these lamp posts around. Maybe I can do that on a live stream. I've got a bit of time off at the moment, so I'm hoping to get some live streams in. And if you want to watch that, then keep an eye on the channel because I will post, I guess, some sort of like, not welcome. That's not what I'm thinking of. Some sort of like announcement to say that there'll be a live stream coming up and I'll programming it. I'll, I'll schedule it in or something like that. But I guess since we've got one guy sorted already one villager we might as well get on with the rest of them struggled quite a, a lot to get this guy in here i mean it's a nice simple in theory this sort of i guess um this layout is pretty good but it's hard to get them right into the spot and if i get them on here they pop out rather than staying in place once i break the uh minecart so i'm going to try to block this guy in as best as i can when he comes up here so that we can try and maneuver him into place villagers hello everybody hope you've been keeping well you all look fantastic no zombification occurring off you go up 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 there we go Okay, now please don't, I don't want to hit you, there we go. Now, I would like you to, or well, you can go in there if you want to. And will you just go in the hole for me? Stay there, no, dang it. 
No. Wait. How? How is that possible? Come back. Come back. Okay. No more of that. Oh, got him. Well, that was nice of you to cooperate. And we just need one more. Okay, you just need to go in there. Just, just really quickly. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Get, come, get off the dirt mound. This is it. You're cooperating. Got it. Oh, look at that. We did it. Three clerics in a row. The next thing was I was going to get some farmers in here and also a librarian. I kind of want to do the librarian first, maybe. Just because that's a little bit more important, I think, than farmers at this stage. But I guess I can at least make three more zombies. Sorry, everybody. I think. If we're going to remember how this works. Probably a few too many of you. One. No, you don't want to hit him. You only want to hit him a couple of times. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at your lovely shirt. I should get rid of those. Oh my gosh, you got full armor and enchanted pants. Wow. Look at you. There we go. Now, while those three are marinating, I think in order to be prepared for the next step, or the next part of today, which is finding the stronghold, we need to get some more blaze rods because I don't actually have that many and I don't have looting on my sword, but I think we'll be okay. Now, I think the nether fortress is this way. Down here, yes. Okay, follow the nether brick. Good work, Sam. I should have bought some fire resistance potions. Okay, I think I'll be all right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, there's one here and there's one just over there. So I think I can just sort of run back and forth a bit. Let's just, oh, hello. I didn't even bring a shield. Oh no, this is not going to go well. Now that I think about it. Just clear up a bit of space. Now, didn't have to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna farm here for a little bit and when I think I have enough blaze rods, I will bring you back. Or maybe I'll meet you in the overworld. Uh, no, don't do it, don't do it. Oh my gosh, it started to do it again. Why? This is not where my portal is. I don't understand. If anybody can explain this, please let me know. Basically, it seems to regenerate a portal underground in a separate spot from uh, where my actual portal is. I don't know why it does it because I literally lit the portal. I mean, I guess it doesn't really mean anything, but the portal that I've lit is a ruined portal. So, I don't understand why it's not linking. It'll make... 
18 eye of ender. There, we could get more. Maybe, do I want to get two more? I might as well, I guess. Two more ender pearls, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we have 20 eye of ender. I think that should be plenty to try and find the stronghold and hopefully not have any break and be able to fill in the portal. I guess. Now, I'm not fighting the dragon this episode. Absolutely not. Oh, everybody's good. Brilliant. I think I'm going to go get ready and then once this rain stops, we'll go out and see if we can find the stronghold. Okay, I think that I'm ready. For now, we will go and find the fortress by foot and eventually we will connect everything up in the nether. But I guess all that there is to do now is to just like throw and see which way it goes oh no breakage great now i did bring some leather booties just in case we have to traverse some snow which i think we do so i guess there's nothing else left to do but to wander and see if we can find this stronghold hello goat friends don't mind me just passing Ooh, through don't worry about me at all please no oh there's so many of you okay number two still going in this direction fantastic I don't think I've really explored out this way so be interesting to see if we come across anything cool okay let's throw Let's go again. Oh, backwards. I think that's backwards. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, let's try from here. Oh, and we're going back the way we came. So maybe it's under this mountain somewhere? Like I just came from down there, unless I've gone and really confused myself. I think here's a good a spot as any. So, let's start digging, I guess. I don't think I've ever found a stronghold in 119, to be honest. I normally, oh, lapis. Um, I never really last super long in worlds. I love the starting part of the game. And then I sort of tend to peter out and, you know, lose interest and then go start a new world kind of thing. So it's been a second since I've found the stronghold. So this should be fun. Hopefully we, I have not turned us around into the wrong direction. Oh, the strongholds form in deep slate level now. That will be interesting. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, 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 we found it. Oh, there we go. Advancement made, I spy. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, silverfish. Leave me be. Yes, I can hear you. Golden apple, don't mind if I do. Enderpearl, eh. Okay, now. The next step is to find the portal room. Oh, there's the library. Oh. Oh, it's so cool. I forgot how cool they are. Whoa. What happened here? Okay, I kind of want to check out the library. 
Oh, and I have Silk Touch, so I could grab some books if I wanted to. And some cobwebs. Don't mind if I do. Aha! Oh. Well, the map might be handy. Let's put our boots back on, actually. Oh my gosh, there's a dungeon in here? Excuse me? Okay, uh, hang on. <laughs> One second. I wasn't exactly expecting to find a zombie spawner in my stronghold. But I guess there's a time and place for everything. Won't my... Don't mind the other apple or the name tag. I think I'm going to quickly run out of space. What's going... What is this room? I don't know if I've ever seen a room like this before. What is this? Ooh, some gold. Vision. Okay. That was weird. This is a weird room. Very strange. Okay, I am running... Oh my gosh. Here it is. I'll quickly get rid of that. There we go. Whoa, we found it. The room has been found. Okay, so we found the portal. Um, we have enough, I think. Yeah, oh, we've got plenty. Plenty of eyes of Ender to fill the portal, but I'm not gonna do that today. I think next episode we will take on the dragon. Today I just wanted to find the portal. So I'm glad that we've done that. The stronghold seems huge, so I definitely want to explore more at some stage, but now that we've found the room, I kind of just want to head back home and finish up a few of the tasks that I wanted to do for today and get a list going of some things that we... Oh, wow, it's so close. I literally came from there and I wound my way all the way around to just over here. Uh, so we'll follow the wood to get back to the portal. But yeah, I'm just going to grab some bookshelves and then head on back home. So I'll meet you there and we'll finish off the jobs that we had to do for today. We made it. Honestly, I think it was less than 15,000 blocks away. So super close which is amazing. I want to grab some lecterns so that we can start getting some librarians and at least get mending. There we go. Three lecterns. Now, I'm probably not going to do three villages today. Hello, friends. I'm back. Now, how do I do this? Okay, I think if I chop that and that into here well i guess you're going to be our first librarian okay now no pick a little pod anywhere you like i want you to get up and into that gap no stay there no stay there stay there Oh, we're so close. Stay. Are you now stuck there? You are. Perfect. I have some books and hopefully enough emeralds. Since we did cure this guy, so... Come on. I guess now... We just hang out here. Oh, fortune two for one. For one. Oh my gosh. That is pretty good. Oh, uh. Oh, uh. Sweeping edge, not what I want. Okay, I guess when we get mending, I will let you know. You guys, we've done it, and you'll never believe how much it is. One 
Emerald. One emerald for mending? Are you kidding me? Is this too many mending books? I don't know. I don't care. It's so cheap. I'm buying all of them. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Look at all of our books. Now, I'll make this a bit prettier later on. Uh, but that was the main thing that I wanted to do today. That did take a little bit of time. Not as long as I've gone before, but not the quickest either, but one emerald. Are you joking? So now we can go and put that on all of our gear and then heal it all up finally because some of it is dying. I'm glad that we have achieved that. I'm going to get the rest of the librarians in here off camera and fix this up a little bit, make it look nicer. Uh, I think I'll probably go for like efficiency and protection and breaking and those sorts of things. But for now, I wanted to finish the episode with a little bit of building, if that's okay. But not like a building building, more of like some nature building. Because in my head, this gap here is the perfect spot for a tree, I think. A custom tree? I'm not a huge custom tree person, I'm not the best at them. Kind of a struggle, sometimes they look good, sometimes they look bad, but I figure somewhere here and we'll have to take this down sorry to do board we'll have to find somewhere else to put you at some stage maybe in the town hall that's probably a good place for a to-do list i figured that we can put a tree right here obviously not like that and it will be an oak tree because they're the only ones that i've done a decent amount of practice at but i guess i'm going to go get my materials together and then I'll bring you back for a little bit of a tree time lapse if that's your sort of thing okay I have an inventory full of stuff I think I will need to build the tree uh, like I said I'm not the best at building trees and I've only done it a handful of times so not exactly sure how this one's gonna turn out but I thought Give it a crack and you only get better by you only get better at things by practicing them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start a time lapse. Okay, look, is it the prettiest tree you've ever seen? Probably not, but I think we've done a decent job. There are a couple of things I can add to it to actually make it a little bit nicer. One is just um, continuing these logs out in a couple of different directions. We can actually even maybe do this, where we have moss carpet on top of the log. I think that looks kind of cool. So we'll do some of that. Put some moss in here, like so. And then... I'll also try and tuck a few of these in just to add a bit of color, but I don't want to like make it too clumpy since I've spent a lot of time uh, making it nice and airy between all of the branches. There we go, just a few azalea bushes to add some color here and there. I can tuck some moss, or can I not? I can't remember. How uh, moss works. Oh yes, I can tuck some moss into a couple of places to chuck 
some glowberries hanging down like so you can also throw in some fences and chains and lanterns just to add a bit more lighting and then I might as well pop some of these frog lights down as well and there we go look it's a little bit stumpy probably could do with a few more leaves on top probably could have gone up higher to be honest but I think it turned out quite cute and it definitely adds to the space and fills up this sort of blank area we can add some flowers in as well to make it even prettier and I think it's going to be a great little spot to just chill maybe I could even work out how to put a swing or something in but I think that for today that's where we're going to call this episode so thank you so much for watching sorry it's been a few sorry it's been a little bit between episodes I'm sort of trying to get back in the groove and keep this going because I really love this world and I really love what we've done and I want to keep building on it so I hope you enjoyed the adventuring that we did today and our little tree build and please don't forget to be kind to yourselves have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode bye